Jay Pendleton, MedTech Voice. I'm coming at you live outside of Phoenix, Arizona. We're here for the third annual Sontag Spine Symposium. I think today was great because people left their egos at the door. There was vulnerability, there was courage, there was honesty, transparency, and that's how you learn best. With the top surgeons in the country, with different ideas, with different concepts, discussing spine, which is awesome. Doesn't matter if they agree or disagree, just the discussion is very important for everybody. A lot of good, open conversation, controversial topics, sharing where we agree and where we disagree. It's a real opportunity for networking, for engagement. Thank you for stopping with us. Uh, welcome to the red carpet. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you so much. Why do you come to the Sontag Symposium? Well, I think this event is unique in that it really gets in the thought leaders of spine, some of them that have been very well established and some of them that are just still, still coming up. You really have an opportunity in a closed room where we really talk about, you know, what's next for spine. What are we looking at? What are the challenges? What are the things that we found work and don't work? One of the most interesting things is that none of the debates today came up with a clear cut answer. We're still learning and that's, that's unique. It's it's the Academy Awards of Spine. It's just a privilege to be amongst the best minds in the field. A large group of guys and gals that I have a tremendous amount of respect for. And I walk away from this a better physician every time. The best way to do good work for patients is to have collaboration among people who have different skill sets yeah. who can apply them well to any individual patient's needs. There's crossover, like we all care about patients and we're trying to do the best that we can. And so I think it's been a good learning experience for everybody. Thanks for spending some time with us. My pleasure. How was the day for you? I really enjoyed the symposium because it eliminates lectures and goes right to discussion. The discussion is where everybody finds out what people really think. We have a really exciting field, it's a young field but it's growing rapidly and changing rapidly and we're doing a lot of good. Well, Volker has been an inspiration for decades. It's phenomenal what he's done here and Uribe is carrying it on in a very superb fashion. And the way that he uh, created this meeting and all the, the social gathering was absolutely phenomenal. For me, it's a learning experience. You know, the sessions we had and they're unique. They're not scripted presentations at all. We just really can get behind the thoughts of these key opinion leaders. I want to give a lot of credit to Dr. Uribe. He's been able to wrangle a lot of, I would say, reputable physicians, surgeons to come spend some time here. I think when you get that number of folks together, it's a major event.